For decades, oil ruled the world. But a new energy beast is here, and it's powered by something you might not expect. These aren't just rocks. They're the indispensable backbone of our future, essential for everything from your smartphone to national defense. Think electric vehicles, wind turbines, and solar panels. The clean energy transition demands them, and demand is exploding, projected to triple by 2030 and quadruple by 2040. We're facing massive deficits for copper and lithium by 2035. Here's the catch. The supply chain is incredibly vulnerable. The U.S. is heavily import-reliant for most critical minerals. Why? Because China dominates. They're the leading producer for nearly 30 critical minerals and control over 85% of the world's rare earth processing. This isn't just about mining, it's about controlling the entire value chain. This concentration has ignited a new geopolitical battleground. Nations are scrambling, forming alliances, and investing billions to secure these resources. The U.S. has responded with executive orders to secure supply chains, promoting domestic extraction, and applying diplomatic pressure to expand access. Even traditional oil powers like the Gulf states are pivoting, recognizing critical minerals as their future. But there's a powerful solution, recycling. Unlike fossil fuels, Critical minerals can be reused, reducing the need for new mining by up to 40% and cutting emissions by 80%. It's urban mining, building resilience right at home. Critical minerals are the new oil. Securing them isn't just about energy, it's about national security, economic power, and the very future of our planet. The race is on.